I'm going to introduce you to a man who luckily I've been asked to introduce, yet another person that I actually know. I mentioned Billy McGrath earlier on in terms of comedy in the 1970s, keeping comedy alive well before the Falling Asunder tour, well before the Comedy Store, etc. The point about it is that this next man is going to come on stage is a man who also used to keep comedy alive then, and in the 1980s, he's released the best comedy singles we have ever heard, including one that is um, eulogising a boxer from Clonus in County Monaghan, is it? It is Monaghan, yes. The man's name, with a guitar I think as well, I'm not 100% sure, would that be right? Yeah. Dermot Morgan. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, so I have to do this. They do this at the Royal Command performance. When you have when you have Mick Byrne here, you have to do this. It's <laughs> I uh, Mick had missed this. Most of the guys in the um, oh, there's my time up. Sorry. Um, <laughs> Most of the people who were out in Italy missed this. They missed <coughs> the real World Cup, which was on RTE. <laughs> I've never seen a love affair virgin before my eyes on TV for real. I mean, there's a lot of people Eamon says are not great, but John Giles isn't one of them. <laughs> I, hold on a moment, shut up. Uh, no, no, oh, sorry, you are not a great audience. I don't like you. Uh, you're, you're cheats. You're charlatans, just like Bobby and his brother Jackie. <laughs> I'll, tell you, I'll tell you the truth. <sighs> My respect for John Giles grows by the day. <laughs> In fact, no, you see, you don't understand anything. <sighs> I'm expecting John's baby. <laughs> no, no, hold on, no. Good player, good player, good player. You see, I'll give you a list of things. You see, people say to me, top dead, but I don't listen to them. <laughs> you, know, you expect everything to be great. Maradona is not a nice pop singer. I don't like her. <laughs> a lot of things are not great. For example, Charles Dickens' books. Expectations, they were not great. They should have been good expectations, average expectations, but not great expectations. <laughs> what, about, what about movies? Great Escape? They caught them, for God's sake. It's not a great escape. And I didn't like Charles Bronson's impression of the Pope trying to tunnel out. I dig and I dig. No. I don't like that. I'll tell you something else I don't think is great. Britain. Britain is fair to average, but it's not great. And finally, on my list of things which are not great, Greater Garbo. She was not a great Garbo. I didn't like her. She's not a good actress. Ladies and gentlemen, when I am... Um, in the quiet and solitude of my bathroom, I'm speculating on impressions and doing people. I often wonder what they're like at their most intimate times, the most intimate moments, like when they're having a cuddle, right? What do they actually say to their partners afterwards? You know, it's, it's an interesting thought. I guess when Garrett in his heyday used to turn around and say, that's a 2.7 times tonight, 3.6 times the night before. It's an average of 4.7 times this week, of course. And when you annualize that and allow for inflation, which you should have to, it's an extraordinarily boring thing to do. I've seen her travel on an airline. And then I guess people like McGuigan turn around really. Barry probably turns around and says, lying on the pillow with the cigarette, I just like to say, you're ahead of me. Thank you very much, Sandra. I'd also like to thank Adiris for the matches. Thanks to ESB. Thanks to Jurex. They've all been wonderful. Thank you, thank you. And, and it's clearly what Geldof says after he's had a cuddle. He turns around and probably says something along the lines of, it's not enough, so take off your clothes and get back into bed. I want more and I want it. No! You could speculate about this all night. I don't know what uh, Sean Kelly says. Super why, Jimmy, or something like that. I don't know. Uh, very hard to think about those. I, don't know. I know what Eamon says. This was not right sex. This is amateur sex. This is no, hold on a second. No, I didn't like it. I didn't like it. You get better at the League of Ireland and you get better spectators. No. No, sure. I don't like you. No. And then I, I finally, the one that really bothers me is what Charlie Hawhey says. Do you ever wonder what Charlie Hawhey says after? He probably says something along the lines of, no, not at all, it wasn't me, no, I deny it emphatically. No, 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 no question about uh, not at all. Uh, uh, there were no U-turns performed on the sheets here, no, not at all. Uh, I don't, not with individuals, not when I'm busy doing it to the whole country. Thank you. <laughs> I thought that was a filthy, dirty act that Dermot Morgan put on there, and I didn't like it a bit. Ha! 
We know what goes on in Dublin, all the drugs and the sex, especially out in RTE. <laughs> Gay Burns, the worst of it. <laughs> He's on drugs, you know that, don't you? He is, yes, and the old cannabis, the Maria Joanna, whatever you call it. But he's cute. He smokes it during the commercial breaks. That's why you often hear him say, you can roll it there, Roisin. <laughs> now, this is uh, from a forthcoming album, Don't Believe It. Folk songs for every occasion, paramilitary playroom. Provo Pat, Provo Pat. No, we won't be doing that. <laughs> and his black and white balaclava. No, that, we won't be doing that at all. It'll be a tribute to all the famous Irish folk groups, including Planet of the Furies. <laughs> Eddie, put that guitar there on. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that's wrong. I didn't mean to say that. But this is the one I love, boys and girls. <laughs> the one I love best are the lads that sing the old rebel songs. <sighs> so this is a tribute to the Wolf Bones. As you know, um, Hey, just one thing, how come Finbar Fury always looks like he's going to the toilet when he's singing? And they play the, and Eddie, is there any paper in here? <laughs> well, this, this is a tribute anyhow to the Wolf Tones, let's I can confuse. And it's one of those rebel songs, and there's all the rebel songs which have lots of blood and guts and thunder in them. I always start with a little rhyme or a little poem. Many songs are sung and written. About Emmett, Pierce and Towan. <laughs> and no one knows that son of Ireland who loved to chew a bone. A patriot so fearless who fought doggedly for his nation. Not a Catholic or a Protestant, but a bloody big Alsatian. Way back in 1920 when the troubles were real bad. The black and tans were searching houses, driving people mad. Many Irish men and women lent a hand to help the cause. Here's the story of a hero who lent a pair of paws. And it was Fido hid the hand grenade for me. When the tans came around to search the house at tea, I said, Fido, take this ease. He thought it was a tin of meat. It was a hand grenade that Fido hid for me. The black and tans, they searched the house. The not a thing was found. They checked for guns and bullets, but they never checked the hound. They mocked and scorned and jeered us, but their laughter ended soon when Fido just exploded and went around the room. It was Fido hid the hand grenade for me when the tans came round to search the house at tea. Well, the tans, excuse me, mate, was that something you dug out? It was the hand grenade that Fido hid for me. The tans ran out in terror, Fido saved us one and all. <laughs> So we looked at him as he lay there on the ceiling, the floor, and the wall. <sighs> Another martyr for old Ireland by Brett and he cruelly slain. Wait for it. Someday up there, I hope he'll be an Alsatian once again. An Alsatian once again. An Alsatian once again And Fido, who's now in ribbons, will be an Alsatian once again Thank you very much. Good night. Enjoy yourself. Thank you.